Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Before the Sequel. So in the last episode, uh, I don't know, it's been a while. Sorry about the huge delay. I, there was a bit of delay since I tried to record this and it was, I was out of, I was like away from town. I was at, you know, babysitting for some friends. Well, babysitting, quote unquote, more dog sitting than anything. Though she's a big old baby anyway, so whatever. Uh, I had a really good time there, and it was great. It was only like a week, a week and a half right in there. But then I came home, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start recording again. And I recorded the rest of this game. And bad things happened. And I may or may not have made an oopsie. And ended up, uh, flubbing everything up. As in, uh... The audio didn't record for this game, and I was like, ah, it's fine. I'll fix the audio manually. It's good practice, right? The issue with doing that is that that would require them to actually list all the sound effects they put in the game. I couldn't find the list for sound effects anywhere. I was trying. I really was, but I was unable to. People were, people were in, oh, they used some of these sound effects. I was like, okay, but those were early level sound effects, and that's not helpful at all. Sucks to be me. And rather than give a product that isn't, you know, the real game, I would rather show off the actual game and not just have some music in the background. Ah! So, it, I should mention it's been a week or so since I did record that. I needed a bit of downtime to try to fix things and then realize I couldn't. So, I will not remember everything that happens in these levels. There isn't a lot of this game left, though. I should mention that. Done. Oh, no. Uh, this first level is not going to be that hard, but... It's... I say that I think I'm actually remembering what level this is. No, I think that's the next one. I think the next one's the one I had a major... No. Issue with... I have never died to those. <laughs> I haven't. So, it's unfortunate, but I did. Alright. Just like I was doing the first time I played this, I will now be spin-dashing through all of them. Because I ain't having none of that business. There we go. And we're moving on. <laughs> yeah, I ha I have to say, playing these missions, I don't mind replaying these. These were really cool levels, and I wish I could show my genuine, like, first reaction to these levels, because I did really enjoy that recording session. But, you know, you can't always do everything perfectly. Mistakes happen, glitches in the matrix, etc, etc. And I am really glad I do get to play these again, though. It's really awesome until I do that. Did I just change the back? Ow. Come on. Oh, I didn't use this before. Ah. Proceeds to kill myself. I didn't go this way last time, so I don't know what that is. I... That's cool. I mean, the whole multiple path thing is always something that people like in Sonic. All the way up. All the way. I also like how they incorporated that into this game where you can actually run up walls, so you have to use the little track things to do it, but it's cool. It gives a little bit more perspective on it. So, Act 1 complete. So, I should... I do say so a lot, and I've just realized that. Um... Wow, that was pretty impressive. While I was uh, way out of town, I actually got the chance to play the first two Sonic games. Not gonna lie, this game's better. This game has 
honestly more memorable moments for me and has less BS in it because after playing through that game those games I should say I what so I guess I can't spin dash up here so I can just pop yeah that game had a lot of glitches I fell out of the game a few times I had a respawn that was a instant death respawn because I was just at a point where I would like walk five feet and the ground would automatically fall under me because it was a randomly set timing. So, if I'm not careful, I would just die without any reason going into a boss battle. Like, as the boss battle thing was opening up, the ground would just fall from under me, and I was like, oh, well, isn't this amazing? I, why am I... <laughs> and I'm not, you know, giving my, doing myself any favors talking about that while I'm messing up in this game. Because everyone's just gonna be like, oh, you know, he's just bad at this. Which, to be fair, in that game's defense, I am bad at it. I just don't think the original Sonic games, after playing through them, are that good. I think that games like this that took that initial idea and expand upon it are actually better. <laughs> I, I haven't played Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but... I'm sure it's a good game. I remember some good things about that game when I played it as a kid. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, I missed out on those, but it's fine. I got some rings. I remember playing some of Sonic 3 and Knuckles as a kid. It wasn't as bad as the first two Sonic games. It was a game I could actually get some progress done in. But, I mean, I don't know how it would stack up to this, because I have to say... I just went up that wall. I'm really loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. I'm sure that you can actually be sued for saying that jingle. <laughs> but luckily, I have no, you know, subscriber count by comparison to others. So no one pays attention to anything. Oh, crap. I hate these. They freeze you solid in your bones the moment it happens. Which is the same thing as a normal hit. It just has a long animation. It's a cool animation, but it's longer. And you always think that, oh, I might be able to escape if I match all the buttons, but I couldn't do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> These levels are really creative, and I'm just... I'm having way less trouble than I did the first time I played. On the second one, at least, because I remember falling quite a bit more. I think it was... I think it actually starts right up here when it actually happens. Um, no. I don't remember this part. I don't remember them being this jerkish, like at all. Well, that's unfortunate. But at least when I got hit, I could actually still make progress because of the way inertia works. And I'm done with this mission. So it wasn't this one, I think it's the next one that I kept falling in, unless I just actually ran straight through that part and didn't notice. I'm What I'm referring to there is that I had a terrible time with one of these, taking 27 minutes in all in one of these uh, missions. One of these zones, I should say. I think 15 of that was actually just in one of these, which I think is this one. Which, you know, uh worried about, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Can't be as bad. I've gotten better, probably. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, at least I have the two uh, hits given by the shield and the... Oh. Shield and the rings. I almost get by that. I think this is the area right here. I'm just gonna go the safe bottom route until you get up here and hope... Oh, I almost forgot about this. Yep, yeah, this is the zone. I kept falling right up here. Okay. I don't know how you're actually supposed to go through this area is the issue. Really? Maybe I can do it better. Maybe you can take a sad song and do it better. Unless I just keep doing this over and over again. Okay. I'm sorry for being a little bit silent. 
as you might have guessed, I had a really bad experience last time, and I'd rather not repeat it. I just did it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a really bad area for me. I'm really sorry, guys. Okay. Here. And maybe I'm through it? Hopefully. Hopefully. Please. I, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit negative Nancy right here. But I had a really bad time last time. And I got it to the midpoint. Sweet. Well, the bad part is down, I think. And, yep, now I start making up the walls again. The less, you know, bad area. So that only took, like, two minutes instead of 15. Which is an improvement, I guess. Always nice to have actual... What? What just happened? Okay, I don't even know what happened there. I'm confused. I found a glitch. <laughs> so, this animation. I think it's pretty cool. How about you guys? <laughs> yep. There we go. Oh, well. I like finding small glitches that aren't super game-breaking because it's a cool thing to show. But man, are the game-breaking ones, like, fun but annoying. Like, they are so much fun to find because they're just silly, but they ruin you if you find a game-breaking one. Like in Sonic 1 and 2, I actually found quite a few areas where I kind of fell out of the map and teleported somewhere else, and it died. Like, I died a lot that way. <laughs> Like, in uh, one of the previous zones, I found a similar glitch where I kind of fell through the wall, but there was an invisible wall down there, and I was able to get back. I just fell straight out and started teleporting around and dying and glitching around, and it was it was silly. <laughs> it was incredibly silly, and I, I'm i sure that there are some glitches that could be useful that way, but I don't know of them, and I haven't watched enough of Son of the Glitches stuff. By the way, plugging Son of a Glitch since we're talking about glitches person who knows a lot about glitches and games and shows them off for people. Come on. Here we go, I've got at least one ring, which gives me an extra hit. Okay. And the music's back up. Rather, By the way, I haven't really talked about the stage that much. But yeah, uh, you hit these switches, it turns off the power, and you get to go through these shield generator things. And it's really cool how they did that, because honestly, actually affecting the music and everything, I love dynamic soundtracks. When that changed depending on what you're doing in the story. Mission. I meant to say mission, but I mean story as well. Great. <laughs> well, I lost all that pro There was a life in there. Okay, and I... Are you, you're kidding me. You're, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I think this is far enough to actually call it good. I'm back this far, just got past the running up the wall segment. And I immediately fell. Showing off how great I am at this game, guys. I'm amazing! I don't regret starting this game at all. There are some games I regret playing. Uh, as many of you know who've seen a lot of my stuff, I regret ever touching the game Arcana Heart. I hate the character, I hate the story of that game, I hated playing through it, it infuriated me. I, I just, I won't do it again. People actually have said that they would pay to see me play the second or third game just because they want to see me just completely flip my... Crap. Flip out and uh, get angry, but I'm just not doing that to myself. It's not worth... It's not worth it. <laughs> I need to 
Oh, I'm dead. Well, we are back. Okay, uh, good enough, guys. Now, like I was saying, I honestly won't do work on a heart or anything like that again. It hurt my soul, and I actually really hate it. Um, I am always taking suggestions on what game I should play, and I'm looking into what games I really want to play myself. And I'm going to be doing a couple ones I'm really looking forward to. A couple... I know I've said this a few times. I know this. there was a series that was supposed to go up before this one ever even was announced, and that was Lisa. And Lisa is still a thing. It's just that, honestly, I need to figure out how I'm going to be editing it. I've already completely streamed and recorded it. But the issue is that... I have a thing I kind of want to do for it to make it special in its own unique thing. And, uh, I don't know how I want to do it. So, it's just my own OCD on the, at this point. Figuring out how I want to do it and finalizing it. Because I have it all but edited except for like, the intro thing. But that intro thing is what's stopping me. Okay, I need to kill this guy just so that I don't make a mistake, fall down here, and then die by that. Because that'd be unfortunate. But I can die from guys like that pretty easily. And this is my other issue with Sonic games, and particularly this game. You're just going up a slope, and then you're not. At all, because the fastest thing around is not a thing for him, I guess. Sonic got through Act 3. So, Lisa will be coming soon, guys. You don't have to worry about that. But, I don't know when soon. Like, soon-ish, but... Once my OCD will stop. Oh yeah, I forgot. This stage, besides having odd music, is really cool. I missed all of those rings. And all those. Wonder if there's still a chance of me getting a one up. And of course there is. There we go. Okay. Well, I guess I was stuck off screen for a moment. These special stages get really creative and interesting by the end. I really like how they did it. Introducing these new mechanics even in the special stages is pretty awesome in my opinion. So, you know, a plus for all those awesome people. I think it was actually one guy who did this game? I don't remember. Even if it's a team, it's still awesome. And guess who's here? He got caught. Tails, no! Oh, hey. Eggman. The Titanic Towers boss act. So, you just have to hop up on here, hit him as he's going, dodge the shots, which I completely failed to do because I'm a silly, silly person. Uh, the, bo the boss is pretty unique. That can hurt you? I was unaware that his arm thing could hurt you. I thought only the cannon could. Oh, I think I actually touched the back of him. I think that's actually technically what happened. Also, many wubs in the stage. The wubs are real. Oh, come on. Need the ring. And he's down. 
is what I want to say, but he's not because I just destroyed his body. Uh, come on, I didn't even know you could hit his back like this. I did not have that issue during the original fight. It actually went almost flawlessly. Original recording is what I meant to say. Oh well. I'm sure you guys are smart enough to figure out what I meant. Come on. Yeah, this fight does not have to be nearly as hard as I'm making it. There we go. Sonic got through boss act. Not very flawlessly, but, you know, whatever. See you guys in the next stage.